Hello guys and welcome to another video of this course. Hope you are already enrolled into the course. So now we will just get a little bit into other the things. Not not a like like I say. Well, I'm not gonna say into the depth, but we're just clarifying the basics of what we're gonna do in the course. So as I already mentioned about what's cracking, how it's done. Now I'm gonna say I'm gonna talk about binning, and the next one is probably gonna be spamming. Then we can we will start in implementing those things, and I will just after implementing. And those things i'm gonna just get into more depth i'm gonna say i'm gonna just tell you more of the things that we can do while hacking those things so in the binning basics what we're we gonna learn in the binning basics so first of all let me just uh get a shape a rectangle let me just put it like that yep. what is binning everyone's question i don't out so we go like that what is binning I will just like uh, give it an overview of that what actually is binning then we can just talk about that All right. uh, binning is a method uh, to get uh, time limited Subscription are offers for free. We use uh, generated credit uh, debit cards to bypass the uh, time limited offers so like a roach you need to uh, like i need to tell you now what it is so binning is another method like we talk about the cracking so binning is another method so in binning what we do we just uh we, using this same binning method we can just like bypass some of the time limited subscription as uh, and uh, let's talk about some of the time limited subscription which of them let's say spotify like spotify gives 30 days free subscription for the first month after that they will just cut the money from your card so once you start the subscription they will ask you just to uh, like link your card and then the thing will get started so let me mention let me just make two, two of the shapes so what we do we just uh, right we just generate some uh, credit cards uh some debit cards and once the, after generating the credit cards we just use those credit cards for the binning and you can't just go like uh, go around and just like search or generate random credit cards and just put them th like that. That's not the case in this case. So this is a literal different thing from that. What are you thinking? I know what are you thinking. So there are two types of <laughs> put it like that. I'm gonna put this mark a little bit smaller. All right. So there are actually two types of like uh binning like binning offers we can just bypass so let me just first of all all right this one is the first one is uh no money hold uh these sites that don't hold any money from the card so what do we mean by that the sites i don't i don't hold, hold any money from the card look once you just uh, sign up for any subscription, uh, for a free subscription, of course. So some of the sites might say, all right, we got your card and uh, we will detect the money after one month. They don't check for if there is any money in the card. But some of the sites, uh, like do they do what? They will just get the authorization of the card. They will just detect some one or two dollars from the card. Or maybe the, they, will, might, they might detect the actual amount what you need to pay after 30 days they might detect that much amount of from the card and they will just put it back in your card but they'll just check if this amount is available in your card or not if that's not the case they will not give you the subscription so there are two types of uh offers that we're going to mainly talk about number one is uh, no money hold number two is the uh money hold one so you need to first of all know that whatever uh, website you're working on whatever application you're working on what kind of thing that like what kind of process can be done into that well, we have the thing for both of them. If if uh, if the case if the case is no money hold, you got nothing to pay. But if the case is money hold, 
So in money hold case, you might need to just put a little bit of money into your, into that card. So I'm gonna just t tell out, talk about it in the future. But for now, let's say the no money hold. If the card does not hold, if the side does not hold any money, we put random generated uh, CC inf information into the site, and we get the offer. But one condition so the, what's the condition you might ask the cards should be of those two types so the cards should be of those two types what type of card like I told you you can't just put any random generated card into the thing well you can put well I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about being stuff right now uh, so first of all let's say let me say CCN one is a CCN card and one is a CBB card. So these are the type CCN CBB cards. So I forgot to mention another actual thing that we're we're gonna talk about in act in actual binning. So binning is what actually in binning we we need to like we just how uh, we just bypass those things you know, in a website like we just get the offers. But you might have wonder how is that possible? So that's possible by bins. Well, let me just. I guess I need to create another one shape here. Another down scrolling shape. <sighs> All the way down. Let's create a circle and a square shape here. Put a little bit down. And uh, yeah. Let's say, what is a bin? So, for binning, you need bins. Yeah, of course. So, for binning, first of all, you need bins. Once you get the bin, you see that the bin bin is working on the site. I'm gonna tell you. Well, like first of all, once you get the bin, you need to generate the card from this bin that you have found, and you need to check that if the card is like working on the site. Like what happens? Some of the like some of the bins do what they just have some kind of bugs and stuff. Like they just bypass the security, and they can like you can purchase some things from those bins. And uh, I want to mention another thing. That the binning is not only limited to this part. Let me just show you. Uh, I wanted, I really wanted to mention this one. Binning can also be used uh, to purchase any item. Yeah, I wanted to show that. So these are like, uh, these they are actual like. High quality bins. I'm not gonna say high quality bins. I'm gonna teach you how we generate the bins, that kind of stuff. But the bins, finding bins for any shopping site is actually hard. Well, compared to finding bins for any normal site, like offer kind of site. So, once you found the bin that hits the site, like that's working on the site, you might think, what the heck, man? How how, how I'm gonna even find the bin? Well, I'm gonna just show you the process in the future. But for now, just concentrate on what I'm just talking about right now. So let's see, first of all, what is a bin, man? You might be thinking, what's a bin, man? So uh, a bin is is known as bank identity number. So bin is just basically a bank identity number. Uh, let me just go. With. Example is first five uh, first six digits actually five. First five digits of a CC is the bin. So you might be confused, like what's some what I'm even saying. The first five digits of a CC is the bin. Let me show you. Let's say five one five five two zero. Like a credit card normally contains sixteen digits, so it's go like five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So this is a credit card while we do hacking. So we'll add something like that. And the first five digits of the credit cards will show that what kind of bin is it. So you by just only having the first five digits of any credit card, you can get to know that where the credit card is from, which country it's from, and which bank provides this had provided this credit card. So you can get more information about the about not only credit card, about the debit card or visa card or whatever you want. So you can get more information about that card 
only from its bin so bin is the first five digit of any bank uh, number so the, uh, all the banks uh, have different bins so you can work on that different bins and let me just get into a little, a little bit more into the bin stuff once we already started the topic so you know we need to just go into it a little bit make it a little bit smaller just don't want to eat so, so much space all right so away we go all right once we know the 5152 5150 these these x's are known as the, uh, as a credit card and the first five uh, digits of any credit card is uh, shows the bin of the bank like it's also known as the bank identity number of the bin so once we know that what we're gonna do let me just tell you another one actual bin contains six digits so what's the six digit so actually uh, the first digit or oh, not actually six digit it also only contains the five digits One second. Right, so if, what we do for getting a bin? Bin is actually a f uh, five digit number. So, first of all, we just generate some random four digit numbers. Once we generate the four digit numbers, we manually put this first number. Let me show you. So, what the five shows? There are three types of cards. Uh, the, uh, the, card credit, the card starting from three is known as MX card, which means the American Express card. So all the credit cards starting from 3 are American Express card. All the cards starting from 4 are Visa card. All the cards starting from 5 are Master cards. So you get the basic information. You can guess there are also uh, the cards starting from 6, but we're not going to discuss about that because we only need to work with those three cards, the MX card, the Visa card, the Master card. Mostly we're gonna work only with the Visa card just because the Visa card is the more like world wide user card So we're gonna mostly use the Visa card But we also need to get the concept of the Amex card and the MasterCard because sometimes we might require to use those two cards also But we're gonna mostly concentrate on the Visa card. So Once we got the concept of those cards, what we do actually like we have some random four digit number We just add the the four to that digit number or it's got like four plus one five two zero uh, that will give us uh, four uh, one five two zero. So you can see that gives us the answer. So four, one second, that's four. So while we while getting bins, uh, let me just show you the process of actually how it's done. And we got the information about the basics. And let me just put it in this, compress it a bit. Once we know what's the, let me make another shape. So we wanna just. Connect it with this one. Never mind. Make it a little bit smaller. Like that. I'm gonna make another square shape. Alright. So alright, so now we know what a bin is. So what we do with the bin? Well uh, actually we just like like I told you before, we use bins to check which bin won't work on which side. It's like a Bins gives us credit cards. We need to check which credit cards like kind of find bugs or like works on any side that it, the, the side doesn't checks for money from the side. Well, the thing is actually uh, there are different kind of banks and different kind of bank system works differently. Some of the banks are have low security, some banks have high security, and due to the problem, there are so many complications in between. So I uh, I want to talk about those two things specific. Uh, cards we can get from the bins. So before talking about the cards, let me just talk about the bins. So for getting a good result, what we do, we at least like to show, or we at least get around one thousand bins, random bins. Then what we do after getting the one thousand random bins, uh, we put uh, them. In, into a checker and uh, check one by one I'm gonna say check automatically 
which uh, automatically which uh, bin belongs from where so what we do we just put them into a checker and the checker will check the bin for us and they will just tell you which country the bin belong bin belongs for from so so we mostly work on the country space country space for bin so we we'll, we also need to just check the where, which country the bin bangs i'm going to say bin works on so once we know the country we can just work only on the country bins that country particular bins like for example let's say uh example we want uh only USA bins USA bins as it's working on uh, Netflix I'm just taking an example as we are we're, let's say we're taking USA bin because it's working on Netflix so you know we, we know that's on working on Netflix so we will only copy the USA bins well, after copying the USB bins, what we do? Let me just show you an example here. Oh, oh, sorry. Well, after copying the USB bins, we check. Oh, let me just put some gap. We check which bins are non-prepared. So mostly we only we work with the credit card you can say debit card but mostly we will work on the credit card because the credit cards like they don't ask for things like the persons have already paid for the credit card so what do we mean by, what do we mean by prepaid if a bin is non prepaid well that means that the person has uh already paid for that like if a bin is non prepaid then you can definitely go with a bin if the bins are not prepaid if not then we will search for another bin so we want to make sure that the bin is not prepared but if not if the bin is prepared that means the person has already specified that where his money should go and how his money should be spending well if we're gonna just try to do any single thing to the to that specific card we cannot do anything because the card is prepared or it can also mean that the, that some of the uh, banks have just uh, like make some dummy cards and they have just put them into some use that's not like they don't have any money like actually they don't they don't have money but the prepared cards don't work on any site so prepared cards are worthless i'm going to teach you in the future how we can check if a card is prepared or not but we need to first of all check if the card is prepared or not and then we also check uh which uh bank is providing the card example uh, for USA it's uh, mostly Chase Bank yeah my Chase Bank provides a lot of cards in me USA I have worked with a lot of Chase Bank uh, CC so that's why I know about this thing so uh, once we get to know uh, once we get through this process we need to just enter the next phase Goes like that, you're gonna make it a little bit longer. Right, here we go. All right, one second. All right, so once we get through that process, uh, what we do after getting to that process, we will generate random CCs using that bin. So, how do we generate random CCs using that bin? What do we actually do? Let's say our oh, well, we got the bin. Let me just put this here. We get the bin four one five two zero. What do we do one while doing the bins? We just put the four one five two zero here, like five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen. We put uh, the the left space with axis, and we have a we have a tool that we will work on we work with, and that tool will do what? That will just replace those spaces with random numbers. Yeah, that will replace the space with that random numbers, and uh, uh, we also put uh, date and uh, time to date and uh, CV to random, as it will also generate some random CVVs for our uh, credit for our card and uh, some random date for our card, because we actually don't know that what is the actual date 
what's the color did for that card or what's the correct uh, CV for the card. So, well, sometimes we we'll, we'll know that because we have already extracted the uh, bin. I'm going to talk about the extrapolation of the little bit in this video, I actually, I'm going to say. So, look, once we get through this thing, what we do, we get some, let's say, for example, we got the bin. Let's say we got uh, 415205 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And then we got the sys critical like that. And then well, there's a line like this one, there's a straight line. Then we got the date 10, uh, 10 12. Then we have the CVV. That's the CVV. So that bin is something like in this format. Yeah, it's mostly in this format. Uh, you can say there might be like something I don't know what's the thing in between. Yeah, let's see. this is the thing in between. So the bin is uh, the credit card will, that we, that we generate will be in this format. First of all, we will have the credit card numbers. Then we will have the date, date and month of the expiry date of the card. Actually, this is the expiry date. Oh, we also put the expiry date and CV are the random CC so this is the expiry date of the random CC and uh, this is the CVV of the random CC so what do we do well, we add first of all let's say we generate 10 CC's let me just uh, copy this CC paste it in here and uh, let's just let's don't just talk about the date and time one I'm gonna show you how to extract that one so what do we do actually here let's say there's some First, the first five uh, digits of the uh, credit cards will be similar, but the numbers will, could be different. All right, let's say we have a credit card, something like that. Now, what we actually do, we just put spaces after every four digits of the credit card. Oh, wait one second. After, after for every four digits of the credit card, something like that. So we just do like something like that. Now what we do, we just see that which of the things are like common in between them. Let's say 4152 is common in between them, we just put 4152 space and we put 05 and the, you can see the up, on the up top side there is 4 and on the down side there is 3. So what we put, what will we put instead of that, instead of that we will put an X instead of, instead of that. And here we're going to put a 2. Now we're going to put an X and then we're going to put an X and then we're going we're gonna to put an X, X. Now let's say we're going to put an X and X and 1 and 9. So you can see uh this is called the x trap so uh the process uh the process that uh, we just did is called as extrapolation i guess extrapolation yeah this process that we just right now did is also known as the extrapolation so the what what does the extrapolation means like why is it extrapolation why should we do extrapolation uh, extrapolation ignore right so this process is called the extrapolation we're gonna just talk about uh, in brief in the future videos but for now let's just understand that this process is called extrapolation what do we do well, then we'll just copy this. Uh, email we we'll just copy this one uh you know this credit card and uh, this cc then we just paste it and then generate some random cc from this one and the same goes with the date one let's say if the date is date was uh 10 uh, 10 uh, 22 and the cv was 712 uh 10 uh 23 and the CV was seven one one. Then the extract version we get would probably be uh, ten two uh, X, and this one should be seven o oh, seven one and uh, X. So sometimes we know the what's the like. This is called the extract. So sometimes we know what's the uh, CVV and what's the date of the thing. 
by just doing some extra traps. Well, I'm not gonna say that you need to do extrapolation unless until you get the last card. Well, that's not the thing in what well, I'm just talking about because we need to check if the card is a CVV, CCN card or a CVV card. Like I, I discussed the CVV CCN card in here, but I didn't just talk about that because I didn't fail that. So you can see uh, there the cards should be of two types, CCN and CVV. Now let's talk about this one. Uh, oh, first of all, let me talk, talk about the money hold. So we need to add money to that CC in order to get the offer. Otherwise, there is no way to get that. Well, we also just do those in many cases as we see that it's more profitable to just spend money instead of not spending the money. So, you know, cases, things happen. So now we're going to put some, I'm going to just put another shape in here, this straight line shape. I'm going to put it like that. And uh, we're going to put another square shape in here. I'm going to put it like this one. Yeah, probably. And uh, let's talk about the CCN and CV. So CCN card. Well, I oh wow, well, my oh my god, man! We need to talk a uh, little. Literally, we need to talk about so many more things. This video might go a little bit longer, but I'm really sorry. We need to just clear our concept. So for clearing concept, you need to know what an actual thing is. So, uh, we we'll just talk about the C. Oh, I was gonna talk about the CCN, but well, there are two types of card. We be the. There are two types of verification verification in uh, cards all right first of all let's talk about these CCN and CVs there are two types of CCs like credit cards one is a CCN I'm gonna talk about that and number two is a CVV so a CCN card uh, the card number of the CC is correct but expiry uh, expiry date and uh, expiry date and CV is incorrect so some of the website like they will they're not just go into that kind of stuff they will only check if the card number is correct if like the, this is a working card and if it is they will just go to the card and they will not check if the expiry date died or not it's the expiry date expiry date is correct or the cvv is correct so mostly cvv that's like yeah they will just check if the uh ccn card and uh, this is a cvv card so they will just check if the cvv is correct well, what do we mean by cvv so cvv you already know that the six that the three digit pin or uh, while going to the interpay in the atm you need to just put that the six four digit pin yeah i guess so that's the cvv well let's talk about this i was a cvv card so the cv cards are mostly used because uh the card number of the cc is correct and the expiry date and uh cvv is also correct which means the card is literally working and uh, we got a real card so that's how it was the difference between the ccn card and the cvv card well we mostly will only use the cvv card because cvv card like works the most most of the times but the ccn card also works a lot of time like you might have heard about the only fans things well what i did like uh, like I'm gonna say, two weeks before I just used the CCN card that Bin was working on OnlyFans website, and I just added my balance of one hundred dollars, and I spent it like literally I spent that money on some random, sh you know, goals, and I, yeah, you know, <laughs> other things went. So that kind of stuff I'm gonna say only about this thing, like this how we can do that. Well, I was just kidding about the girl stuff, but I had just like. Uh, I just added the balance of hundred dollar, and I just like randomly spend that in that. So that's a bad thing, but you shouldn't have. You shouldn't do that. So, uh, well, don't think that I'm this bad thing, bad man. 
well guys please leave this topic and i, I just i just wanted to just t tell you that that the thing is that so that's why i told you that so once we get the cc and the cv card then there's another problem and the problem is verification problem that's the bad problem you need to check that also so there are two types of verification uh verification types and you need to make sure that whatever card you're using it has none of them like it should then neither it should have any of them if it has one of the verifications then you can't just do that so number one is number one is known as uh, VBV verification number two known as the ABS verification VBV so there are two types of verification one is the VBV verification and uh, number two is the AVS address ver verification system. So the ver let me just fix the VBV verification. What it is actually the VBV verification. If the card has VBV uh, verification, then it will ask for OTP one time pin. So mostly, let's alter that. Mostly the CCs from uh, from countries with uh, low secure security system will have this uh, type of verification. For example, India, Pakistan. Uh, let me say Pakistan, I can say Afghanistan and uh, extra. I don't know about the Afghanistan, but I guess it should be same with the Afghanistan one also. Let's put it hold on. What's the matter with this one? All right, so the VBB verification that is the card, like some of the cards ask for OTP verification. Once you just like try to get money after the card, they will ask you for the o VBB, like they will ask you for the OTP that we have sent the OTP to the users, uh, in users mobile phone, and you just tell us the OTP and we can just continue into that stuff. And uh, uh, if the card has VBB verification, uh, then leave it. it it's it's like it's impossible to just you know, bypass that but uh, if the card doesn't have it then well we can use it actually so the let me just say the CCs from high secure countries is like uh, like uh, like uh, America United uh, Kingdom extra so those type of America United Kingdom they don't have the VB verification because they trust that they they have so so much better banking security that no one is gonna crack at them anyways so they don't need the OTP verification the verification there the their users their customers should be free to just like join the transaction without the OTP stuff so this they just did that out thing just to make sure that cons the customers are happy with them so indeed that is the case so we just got a little bit into the left side it's a little bit more compression I'm sorry I need to just make it a little bit over here so yeah sorry Now let's talk about the AVS verification. AVS verification. Oh, uh, let's talk about the address verification. So AVS is the address verif uh, verification system, and uh, it will ask you. 
to enter the pin code of the owner's location so here goes the another play another thing that we can't just do they will ask you for the pin code of the like the owner's location like whatever the credit card owner's location is they'll ask you for the pin code of that location while you don't know that you can't just actually do access that so it, it could be like pin code or city or city or extra of the local owner's location they, they can ask literally uh, anything about the owner's location was the city was the state was the pin code and if you don't know that then you can't access its uh, uh access this credit card and uh, uh gradually uh your transaction will be declined so we so we also need to make sure our card is non abs so i'm going to teach you how we can check if your card is non abs abs vbb or non vbb we're going to just discuss about that in the future anyways for now let me just ignore this one also and let me just take a look at that we did we covered all the topics that we need to know for the as a starter uh, let's say if address verification system, we'll just talk about that. We'll just talk about this random generation CCs. We'll just talk about the what is it been. We'll just talk about the money hole thing. Well, actually, we we'll just talk about every single thing that we need to get starting with the binning. Actually, this these are all the basics of binning. And then we're gonna learn how do we actually implement implement those things and how do we actually work with the binning. <laughs> well, binning is actually a quite a long process. It takes time uh, for finding a bin. Uh, mostly the persons don't uh, find a bin they pay for the bin like they pay others and the others find the bin for them and then they just work on that well that's a uh, advanced stuff I'm gonna we're, we're gonna talk about that stuff in the future but that's already also considered as a part of spamming Well, spamming is so dangerous thing so we're gonna talk about spamming in the future so for now well that was quite it for this video hope you're already enjoying the course if you do hit the likes hit, not hit the like button just enroll into this into this course and uh, I will see you in the next one.